All right, hi everybody. Welcome back to Co Play It. Playing Ninja Gaiden Black. All right. Fun stuff. All right, so we killed all the guys in this train yard. I remember this. I remember this area, but I don't. Wait, it. This if... boss. Oh, it's this one. This... It is the one I hate. This guy gave me so much grief as a kid. I was stuck on this part for so long. Yeah. I can imagine. It frustrated me as a grown-ass adult. <laughs> I just couldn't beat this bastard. Cause, admittedly, like, the last boss I was expecting in a ninja hack and slash game was a goddamn tank. Right. And when they throw that at you, you're just like, what? <laughs> and it what? took me a long time before I realized a good strategy to keep your damage count down with this boss. You see, they got the turret guy up there. Yeah. I'm going to show you what's difficult about him. These arrows are more powerful. But they don't... Oh, shit. So ooh, you can ooh. shoot him. You shoot the tank. But the dude keeps shooting you. Right. But if you shoot at... Okay, never mind. Woo. That's about if, to go very bad. If you shoot at him, he ducks down for a bit. He comes back up later, obviously. Right. But it keeps the, like, machine gun fire off your ass for a minute. Uh-huh. That's cool. Or... The explosion is big enough that it shuts his ass up, and it's still doing decent damage to the tank. Well, hey. So use explosive arrows on this fight. That's pro strats. That's how you win. Ninja Gaiden Black pro strat number... Wait, what are we on right now? I'm I don't think we've had any up to this point. No, nah, that wasn't a thing for us. It is now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> this may be the one and only... <laughs> but Ninja Gaiden Block Pro Strat 1, hit this fucker with explosive arrows. Balls. Okay. There you go. So again, yeah, that guy gave me so much trouble. Imagine my grief when this happened. Oh, yeah. The first time this happened to me. Hey, oh, guess what? I was ready to cry. Did you, did you like that tank battle? Guess what we got for you? A <laughs> fucking other one. That's amazing. Uh, you are, like, he's just sitting there taking it right now, though. Like, yeah. That's pretty great. And they just leave boxes full of these arrows around for you. <clears throat> they got to, otherwise you're boned. Go! Oh. oh, geez, I thought you... I didn't dodge that. I thought you didn't either. I thought you just, like, <laughs> fucking disintegrated. <laughs> it's like, well, that was the end of Ryu. If it hit me with that, I probably would have been dead. No, I would have been dead. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, let's use like, one of these. Oh, I absolutely would have been destroyed. <laughs> There you go. Once you know how to beat this guy, it's a cakewalk. Yeah, this is probably, like, easiest, easiest, if not second easiest boss in the game, once you know. Once you know, like, just hit him with explosive arrows. There's nothing else you need to do except dodge the one tank shell. Mm-hmm. Which you can, which it's timed so simply that you can always see it coming. Oh, yeah. Well, except for that time, because I'm an idiot. Hubris. <laughs> Ain't it a bitch. Sometimes he holds off a second, and it gets me every damn time. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I forget, have you seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Um, only a few episodes. I need to, um, go back on Crunchyroll and, uh, plow through some of it. Yeah. Because right now they're airing it on uh, Toonami, of course, yeah. and they're airing the uh, dubbed version, which some people are uh, eh about with JoJo's. Yeah, I can see how that one wouldn't mm. translate quite as well, because it's a freaking weird anime. <laughs> and a bit, apparently a big appeal to the show is the huge amount of ridiculous English. Oh that's yeah, that's amazing. The show. People love that, and obviously if it's all in English, you're not going to experience that in that, its glory. It doesn't get quite as hammy in that regard, but I'm still interested to see just like what it would, that would be so surreal to watch that, because I've watched like part one and two a couple times, um, I've watched through part three at least once, but I was looking around seeing maybe if that scarab was in this area because it occurred to me it's been a long time since I've just ran around and explored through here. Yeah. Doesn't, oh, we're going to be on the hunt now. <laughs> doesn't look like it was. Uh, maybe in the next one. Maybe. But, no. I just brought that up because that was one of the things I was referencing, one of those English moments yes. where uh, elderly Joseph just goes, oh, my God. <laughs> it's pretty good. <clears throat> I only just recently learned what that freaking uh, meme with the... What's the name of the, the end theme song? 
Oh, roundabout. Uh, that one. Yeah, yeah. No, there's a. I, I've shown you the vine of one of the guys at Polygon. His name's Griffin McElroy. Has a vine where it's just him listening to music, and it ends with him holding up a, a sign while while the roundabout freeze happens. It just says, "I don't know where this meme is from," and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Yes, that was and hilarious. It's amazing. I love him. First time I saw that, and I was completely caught off guard. Is in uh, what's probably my personal Let's Play series on the internet is um yes yes love adventure go from the team four star crew oh i haven't seen it it's a hysterical and they end each episode with that with the roundabout yeah oh that's cool it's um takahata 101 the voice of nappa guru cell so many people in dragon ball z abridged yeah and um someone in their crew who doesn't do a lot of voices for the show um he might just be like an editor or a guy in the back end maybe yeah um, his name is Chris Zito. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and it's the two of them playing um, dating sims or, oh. like, Japanese-style games like that. Gotcha. Oh, damn it. Right in the spinal column. Okay, but so they end every episode with the uh, JoJo roundabout. Yep. That's pretty cool. Let's see. I've seen it used um, in uh, for other game Let's Plays too. Specifically, Dark Souls for some reason. <laughs> like a lot. Apparently, a lot of really bad things can <laughs> happen. Damn! You just looked down bar uh, Death's Barrel and said, "Fuck you, sir! <laughs> Die!" That's not even like. Is that one of those ASD? It does. I think oh, yeah. so because it's got the ripple effect. It's got the ripple, and it blew the heck up. So that's a good indicator right there. But, like, apparently so many, like, just crazy things can happen at a moment's notice in Dark Souls that it is, it almost started its own meme trend of, oh, yeah. of doing that. Because there was this one where you're looking down this really long, dark tunnel, and all of a sudden you just see this four-legged thing just leap up out of the darkness and stare you in the face. Yep. And then it does the roundabout freeze. I'm like, <laughs> oh, God, that's, that's horrifying. <laughs> this is why I don't play Dark Souls. Yeah, I haven't been able- I can't get into that game myself, either. I mean... I've, oh, balls! <laughs> oh, balls! Um... Jeez... Dick move game? Oh god, and there's more! And there's more! But wait, there's more! Oh my god. That sucked! <sighs> right? Oh my god. Uh, I hate those things so damn much. They're, They're not fun. There. They're just not because like there's once the, if they get onto you, there's no way to throw them off. There's nothing you can do about it. There's a there's a few like, um, you know, precautions you can take preemptively, like using the Vigorian flail or using the electric neem pole once you got it. But other than that, you're kind of dicked. Yeah. Even running away is not a surefire thing with them because sometimes they'll just be like zoop zoop gonna bite you an ass and then you're done. <laughs> What makes it so difficult is like you you have so much struggle to get them off, but as soon as one reconnects, it resets. Yeah, you don't. And they can grab onto you at any damn time. Yeah, they don't give you any. Wait, there's a chest behind you. Oh right, guys. Yeah, I'll get that in a second. Okay. There's no like recovery frames after they get you, so there's nothing you can do. Mm mm. You're just up shit creek. Oh no. We're there a lot in this game, aren't we? Oh yeah. Uh, right now, that's where they are. Holy damn. Bitches. No, I remember, like, when I was in the later stage of the stages of this game, uh, I was looking at a walkthrough on YouTube to figure out what I needed to do next, and just watching this one guy play it, who was really damn good, I'm like, how is he doing all of this cool stuff? <laughs> like, back to freaking back. I can barely get one good combo on a regular Whoa, enemy. Balls. Right in the face. Does it just, like, does this encounter end if you get rid of the lights? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I might take a point hit for that, though. I'm not entirely For not sure. killing it? Uh, well, you just took a nice big health hit. <laughs> Woo! Good dodge. You know that was coming? Kind of. It's a Go. fair... If the music was a bit higher, I could hear the missiles firing off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can also shoot them out of the sky. That's cool. Right? Explosive air. Why don't we just, like, shoot some explosives at the base and make the whole tower fall down? 
That would be cool. Woo! Good stuff. Damn. Go! Where is that one coming from? Because I can't even see the guy that's getting me with that. Oh! They're coming from the top, top. I didn't think that one was going to connect, actually. <laughs> Asshole. There you go. There you go. What? 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 <laughs> it fell into the void. Killing friends. Ooh, there you go. And then Anyone that's it. else? Oh, no. Anyone else? <laughs> Woo. Did you blow ah, it up in it. his face? Oh, we missed the time. You get missed the, the time by a bit. Oh, I wasn't paying I'm just attention. waiting to see when uh, the string of these bastards is supposed to end. Because uh, when the encounter ends, the timer will go away. Gotcha. Jeez. No fear. Just die already. They're persistent bunch, aren't they? There we go. Nice. Now then. Alright, so take care of that light, grab that chest, and we're on our way out, son! Kaboom, 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 kaboom! Wait, how does that make sense? You just blew up all the lights. You've been hitting, presumably, the main tower and everything surrounding it with freaking explosives for the past five <laughs> minutes. Why does it matter that the searchlights went out that it now explodes? I don't think those were searchlights, but I'm not sure what the hell they were supposed to be. Maybe they were, like, generators or something? Oh, Maybe. hello, friend. <laughs> Cool. Their organization is in shambles. They're still gonna put up a good fight, though. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you doing? Yeah. I was gonna say, can that kill them? Sometimes with varying results. Oh, damn. You're supposed to be able to, like, complete this fight in 10 seconds or something? Oh, if it wasn't oh, messing up, God. I could have. Oh, no. I don't think the shurikens... There you go. Finally. Wow. That Damn was it. dumb. Right. Well, hey. All the more reason to hey hate guys. those freaking dr... Oh. It's like, I don't have time for this. Screw you. Mm, by a second. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess that's how they want you to do that encounter then. I think so. Because that's like the fastest way you could have done that. Mm-hmm. The only thing you could have done is, like, mash the heck out of that button once you walk through the door. Alright, headed back down to the train yard. Sweet, sweet. Here's an odd, obnoxious little forced backtrack section. Small, uh, albeit, but, like, it's just a weird one. Oh, I remember this. Oh, damn. They're just firing at you. It's like freaking Captain America, like Civil War. They're just like, we have guns in a close quarters environment. This can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> I mean, granted, that's not a bad idea in and of itself. But when you're against, like, superhumans, that doesn't tend to go well. I think you can, like, level up your life bar now. Uh, should be just about there. Let's see. You should have two of those Life of the Gods things. Yeah, have five you have five! <laughs> what? Whoops. Forgot to pay attention to that. Well, hey, <coughs> we're over here complaining like, man, you take a lot of damage, and it's like, well, you can help that a little bit. <laughs> and with that revel, and let's go ahead and use up the rest of these. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to pick up this fun adventure on the next episode of Co-Play It. We will see you all then. All right. See ya. Woo.